Hey there guys, so today I am doing a quick little walkthrough about how to use the basic functions of Lightroom and how to create your own presets in Lightroom so that you can use them over and over to create a consistent style for all your social media platforms. So I've decided to do this because I understand that if you're not a regular user of Lightroom, that maybe Lightroom mo mobile isn't so intuitive to you some of the settings you may not understand what they do or what they're for so we're going to go through some of the settings not all of them because there's a lot some of the settings the more general ones and then how to create a preset for you to use over and over again so i'm going to start from the very beginning and i'm going to um i have lots of pictures already loaded up in here but i'm going to start from the very beginning and add in a picture so we're going to go down here to the right hand corner and hit the little plus picture button and then it's going to pull up your device folder. So these are all the random pictures in my phone. So these are from like one of my applications. And these are re recent pictures that I've edited in Lightroom. Camera, me and my husband making funny faces. Um, so we will, let's see, if we go to Lightroom, I'm going to just pull up a picture that ha doesn't have a ton of editing on it already done. So here's a good one. This is a picture I took at my work and it's of a door of an old building so I clicked on the picture I hit add a uh, photo and then you can see here at all photos my number went from 70 to 71 so I'm gonna click on all photos and now I'm gonna have to scroll back in time because everything's organized by date and time um, I'm gonna scroll back in time to when I took that picture and I took that picture in January I knew that so it's here so I'm gonna click on the picture and it's going to load up all of our editing that we can do. So the selective tool I'm not really um, going to go into because this is a paid for option along with syncing is a paid for option and I <laughs> do have a subscription um, but for some reason it's not like talking to my account. Um, so the paid options I'm not going to go into. I'm going to go into the very basic things. So you can crop an image, um, you just size in and out with your finger, um, and then you hit the check to correct it. I'm not going to go into profiles, but auto, it'll auto correct an image for you, just hit that and it'll kind of go through it. But what I really like are the light section down here and the color section. Those are my favorite, um, and I use those regularly just in my normal editing. So you're going to hit light, and you can turn up the exposure. And this is, I've got it set, um, I guess I already did some editing on this picture, but I got it kind of set to where I've already done some basic things on it, I didn't realize. So we can also go to Curve. Curve is nice because you can add a little matte look to it by pulling up this little corner here. Click Done, and then we're going to go over here to Color. And a lot of people use this a lot because this is how you change the color toning of your images so temp is your white balance and you can turn it down we're going to turn it down some more so it's playing catch up right now so I've, we've turned it way down so it's going to take a second to catch up and we can play with the tint so we can go more of a green tint or a pink tint we can turn up the vibrance, turn down the saturation, and you can go in and change individual colors, which you can see here that I've done and I've adjusted for. And typically my greens I turn down just a smidge. I don't like them being too bright, but I don't like taking away from their greens. Okay, so let's say you have a picture where you want... Um, there's other effects you can get into. Um, Clarity is a nice one. Dehaze is a nice one. And vignette. Um, detail. This has to do with sharpening and things like that. Optics is regarding your camera lens. And then presets. That's what we want to get into. So I already have some presets loaded into here. But you go over here to these little dots. And then you hit create preset. And you just type in your preset name. So I'm going to type in Morgan... And then you want to tell it all the things that you want um, to, oh man, all right, I'm going to go delete this, hold on so I can show you something. So we're going to do create preset, 
and these are all the things that like if you check this that means it's going to pick up that color this is what you're telling it to save in your preset so if you don't want it to save a certain thing and you want to be able to adjust that manually with each picture you're going to want to uncheck that section so we're going to save it All right, so now I have my own little preset. So the next time, hold on, the next time that I um, load up a picture, I can just go here to presets and click on it and it will automatically apply it to an image. But I'm gonna go back, hold on just a second. <laughs> we can save the device. It's downloading. I'm going to bring up a fresh picture so I can apply that preset to it so you can see what I mean. Okay, it's done exporting. So let's pull up this one. This is just a stock photo. I get all my stock photos. Either I shoot them myself or I get them from unsplash.com. So we're going to go over. Hopefully you saw that. <laughs> I went over here to uh, presets. Oh, goodness. I'm zooming in. So presets. You're going to hit that button. Pick your preset and it will apply the preset for you. And then you're done, hit the check mark, and then you can download and save to your device, and then you're good to go. So that's how you create a preset so that you can use it over and over and over again um, for all your pictures. I hope you found that helpful.